Hello there, my name is William McGregor and today I'll be discussing Killarney from past to present. The community owes much of its beginnings to when Thomas Edgar Jackson and his brother Charles settled on land west of Calgary as early as 1883. Originally from Glengarry County, Ontario, Charles Jackson came to Calgary in 1882 and Thomas Jackson, owner of the Jackson Ranch House, followed to join his brother in 1887. Charles Jackson built his first permanent home using the stone from their own quarry and later constructed an elaborate residence on the site of the present day Jack's Lodge. Thomas Jackson first lived in the homestead buildings on the southeast corner of section 18. It is possible that a portion of the early homestead buildings are now integrated into the present ranch house on 28th Street Southwest. As a strong promoter of the streetcar, he orchestrated the necessary construction to provide an appropriate grade for the 17th Avenue line. Charles and Thomas Jackson acquired the land where the house sits today in 1906 when they expanded their land holdings further west to 17th Avenue. By that time, Thomas Jackson and his brother owned land from Shaganapi Golf Course to 17th Avenue and from 29th Street to 48th Street. The Jacksons named the land after Killarney in Ireland and Glengarry in Scotland to help give Calgary's new settlers a sense of home. Family recollections also suggest that the original farmhouse, later used as a bunkhouse, is presently located on 29th Street Southwest. The first plan for the suburbs was registered in 1906 and the land was formally annexed in 1910. Development before the Second World War was slow. Most houses built at the time were one-story clapboard structures. The community was filled out in the post-war era when the majority of building in Killarney Glengarry took place with soldiers returning from the war. Property lots were sold to these soldiers for just $25 a piece to help them settle down, rebuild their lives, and raise their families. Construction back then consisted mainly of stucco and clapboard bungalows on 25-foot and 50-foot lots. But since the mid-2000s, many of these structures have been replaced with infill housing on a single lot basis. Today, Killarney Glengarry is a 1.8 square kilometer neighborhood that is bounded in the north by 17th Avenue, in the east by 25A Street, in the south by Richmond Road, and in the west by 37th Street. Originally a periphery suburb, today the community resides in the inner city. Killarney Glengarry has historically enjoyed a relatively walkable neighborhood and has had great access to public transit that carries residents to and from downtown and to other parts of the city. Several decades ago, it was connected to a streetcar system that traveled up to 29th Street and 17th Avenue and then looped around to the community. The streetcar is no longer in service, but the community continues to be catered by a network of multiple bus routes, a BRT line along 37th Street, and a new West LRT system located just north of 17th Avenue. The community has also begun adding bicycle infrastructure, most notably along 26th Avenue. Throughout the neighborhood, Killarney Glengarry enjoys several dispersed green spaces, from various parks to a dry pond, a community garden, and a recreational center that is loved by the community residents. The neighborhood also offers an eclectic supply of unique restaurants and amenities for residents to enjoy, including Heritage Deli, Spiro's Pizza, and Francisco's Cafe. Many of these local businesses exist along the commercial areas of 17th Avenue, 37th Street, and 26th Avenue, and they provide a destination for residents and outside visitors alike. Additionally, a large shopping center, West Brook Mall is situated just across from 17th Avenue. The neighborhood boasts a very active, strong, and skilled community association that hosts numerous events on behalf of the community, such as Say and Skate. The association is engaged with resident concerns and politically acts on their behalf. As an inner city community, Colony Dungarry is expected to absorb a significant portion of Calgary's growing population in the next few years. In the past nine years alone, Colony Dungarry has seen a 12% increase in population. As of 2014, 7,231 Kangarians currently live in the neighborhood. Ninety-two percent of Killarney's population is under 65 years of age. Residents fall primarily in the age range of 20 to 64 with a median age of 35. Six percent of the community are children ages 14 and under, while 19 percent of residents live alone. This mix of age groups and living arrangements create a diverse and vibrant community. Furthermore, Killarney Glengarry is home to a growing immigrant population. About half of the housing stock was built before 1930. The most prominent structure type is the single-family detached house, but there also exists a fair amount of housing types in the neighborhood, such as townhouses, duplexes, apartments, and converted structures. About 53% of the dwellings are occupied by owners, suggesting that a large portion of the population are renters. This can greatly affect residents' sense of attachment and investment in the community. In a recent community visioning session, Residents of Killarney Glengarry expressed concerns regarding traffic congestion, lack of transit surface within walking distance, character loss, lack of property maintenance, lack of neighbour interaction and walkability. Transit availability remains a concern for some residents who live in the southern portion of Killarney Glengarry. Due to the availability of the new West LRT to the north and the BRT to the west, 
Bus routes that used to be available along Richmond Road have been discontinued. Proximity to an LRT station is a huge benefit for any neighborhood, but those who live just outside walking distance may still find it inconvenient. Those with strong ties to the community fear that new developments will take away from the neighborhood's character. A trend in older neighborhoods is to tear down older homes and replace them with large infills. Some lots are split down the middle and have two townhomes developed in their place, while others are replaced by massive structures. Residents have expressed disappointment in the lack of engagement on the part of developers. New infill developments in the neighborhood are either replacing mature trees, a staple of the neighborhood, with smaller younger trees, or simply are not replacing them at all. In addition, residents feel that too many of these new developments are utilizing the same color scheme and stop. Newer houses are being built with smaller front green spaces and backyards, replacing these spaces with garages or home extensions. A lack of neighborhood interaction can really weaken one's attachment to the community. Interaction among neighbors is not happening as much as residents would like. The abundance of back alleys and underground garages may play a significant role in this lack of interaction because people who drive on a daily basis have no reason to communicate with their neighbors. In comparison to other neighborhoods in Calgary, Killarney Glengarry is generally considered a walkable neighborhood. A wide range of services and amenities are already offered in the corridors of 26th Avenue, 17th Avenue, and 37th Street, and even more destination exists in adjacent communities. There's no clear definition as to what walkability entails. It depends entirely on the age, location, and preferences of each individual. In theory, this is a functional area as far as walkability is concerned, but there will always be room for improvement. One of the main concerns that Killarney Glengarry faces is a lack of mixed-use developments. Having a mix of complementary land uses in a compact rather than dispersed pattern will provide vitality to the neighbourhood and its local businesses. Additionally, this will enable walking, cycling and transit as convenient travel modes for living and working. The area is anticipated to develop mainly as an employment and retail area, complemented by residential development and live-work units. However, there are currently scarce options for affordable retail inside the neighbourhood. They are primarily available in adjacent communities. A lack of affordable housing for new and aging residents remains to be an issue. New housing in the community is moving away from the 50-foot lot bungalows to smaller 25-foot vertically oriented houses and duplexes. Gentrification in the area is driving up housing prices and attracting more young professionals and pushing out lower income residents. This presents an opportunity to encourage a more diverse range of multifamily housing units to accommodate a wide range of affordability. Given its status today as an urban city community, residents of Kalani Glengarry will need to embrace density. A more compact neighborhood will lead to benefits that an entire community can enjoy. However, resistance among community residents is a concern because it may require a significant lifestyle adjustment for some, such as giving up their car dependency and their 50-foot lots in exchange for more walkable mixed-use developments. This is an example of a major hurdle for inner-city revitalization, as there is often a negative connotation attached to its identification. As the current population stock ages, there may be more NIMBY opposition. To realize these sustainable changes, self-organization on the part of the community will have to continue to play a key role. Killarney Glengarry is an ever-changing system and the flows of old residents leaving and the new residents coming will undoubtedly change the dynamics of the community. To ensure the sustained vibrancy and distinct character of the community, there must be a certain degree of civic participation by community residents and a continuous engagement between those residents and the city at large.